Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our channel I News You. Today, we have some fascinating news from the depths of our solar system. A recent study suggests that Uranus and Neptune might not be quite what we thought they were made of. Let's dive right into it. Uranus and Neptune, the ice giants of our solar system, have long been believed to be rich in frozen water. But hold on tight, because this new study suggests there might be more to the story. According to this study, these planets may also contain huge amounts of frozen methane. Yes, you heard that right, methane. And this discovery could help us solve a long-standing puzzle about how these icy worlds formed. Now, let's take a trip back to the 1980s when Voyager 2, R1, and only spacecraft visitor, flew past Uranus and Neptune. Since then, scientists have had only a hazy idea of what these planets are made of. To learn more, astronomers have been hard at work devising models based on the limited data we have. But here's the catch. Many of these models assume that Uranus and Neptune had a thin hydrogen and helium envelope, compressed water and ammonia, and a rocky core. In other words, they were dubbed ice giants because of their supposed abundance of water. But wait, there's a twist. As these planets formed from the dust cloud around the young sun, they gobbled up objects called planetesimals. And guess what? A large fraction of these planetesimals were rich in carbon, not water. So, here comes the big question. How could these supposedly water-rich ice giants form from ice-poor building blocks? It's like trying to make a snowman without snow. To crack this cosmic conundrum, the researchers behind this study built hundreds of thousands of models of Uranus and Neptune's interiors. They considered various chemicals, including iron, water, and methane, and tried to find the one that best matched the planet's actual traits. And guess what they found? Models with methane! Yes, methane seems to be the missing piece of the puzzle forming a thick layer between the hydrogen-helium envelope and the water layer in these ice giants. In some models, methane accounted for a whopping 10% of the planet's mass. But how did this methane get there? Well, it turns out that during the planet's formation, hydrogen in the growing planets chemically reacted with the carbon in the planetesimals they accreted. And voila! Methane was born! Now, imagine these reactions happening under extreme conditions, high temperatures and super high pressures, millions of times greater than what we experience on Earth. That's the exact environment scientists think existed in the developing planets. Now, before we get too excited, let's address the elephant in the room. How do we verify if Uranus and Neptune are indeed rich in methane? Well. That's where things get a bit tricky. But fear not, because several proposed missions from NASA and other space agencies aim to explore Uranus and Neptune, potentially shedding more light on this fascinating discovery. So, there you have it, folks. Uranus and Neptune might not be the ice giants we thought they were. With the discovery of frozen methane, these mysterious planets just got a whole lot more intriguing. Stay tuned for more updates on this cosmic mystery. And that's a wrap for today's video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more mind-blowing space news. Until next time, keep looking up.